Hi there, welcome to Sewing and More with Joanne. Today I am going to do a review of my Juki F600. I got this about a year and a half ago and this is such a wonderful machine. It is a little tank. Um, I believe that the throat size is 8.25 inches which is very nice size. When I first got this, I just couldn't believe how big it was. Once I got my bigger machine, I, I felt like this one was small, but this is a wonderful machine. I actually quilted a full-size um, quilt on this with no problem whatsoever. Once you put the quilting table on there, this thing is its a little beast. Uh, it comes with this really nice presser foot. Um, you push on this on the front it sews, you push backwards, it cuts your thread. It's uh, really nice and normally it does not come with a um, piece of rubber and black tape on it. Here uh, my cat decided to chew the cord in half the day I got it. So it, uh, <laughs> that is not a standard feature. Um, some of the other things that came with the machine are um, a really nice walking foot and there's some other presser feet that you don't normally see um, some of these are just a little different you have your um, your foot for uh, free motion it came with a Teflon uh, presser foot which I thought was a really nice thing because yeah, I've never had a sewing machine come with one of those before um, these, this I think is for when you uh, want to do a maybe stitch in the ditch. Couple of that's what I use it for, but I know it's uh, it's a hemming foot, I believe. And this one's just wide open. And then you also have the storage here, and then you have all of your other basic feet in here. Um, this thing comes with the biggest. Um, button holder I have ever seen in my life. I've only used it once and the one time I did use it it worked absolutely perfectly. It really uh, it, it was just perfect. It didn't I didn't have any trouble and it was really simple. Um, the, book, uh, the machine also comes with a really nice manual. I want to say it's not as good as the baby lock manual it's not quite as in-depth, but this machine doesn't do everything that the uh, Baby Lock Crescendo does either. So it, it, um, it covers everything really, really well, though it, with the features that it does have. And don't let this simple um, design here make, let you think that this is a simple machine, because it is, it, it is not. This is a very complex, excuse me, very nice machine. Um, it does a lot more than you would ever expect. I'm going to go ahead and put the quilting table on so that you can see how big that is. Um, it slides right on there real nice and easy. And it just, uh, I'd say it probably triples the size of the machine. It works really well. Um, it's very stable. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the stitches on the um, Juki. I have this set up for a little shamrock here. And I will go ahead and show you that. The machine actually goes really fast. It'll do 1,050 stitches a minute, I believe. And um, there's the shamrock. It's really nice. We'll do a, maybe a quilting stitch. So you just uh, choose the section you would like. Quilting stitches are number two. So you want to go back over, or there, number two. Yeah, okay, it goes one, two, three, four. And you hit okay. And it's on a blanket stitch, so we'll just go ahead and we'll stay with that. Thank you. 
And you can also press this little arrow here and it will mirror image your stitches. So there is the blanket stitch mirror imaged. Just put nice perfect stitches. Your back is um, really good. And one of the nice features of the Juki is the thread tension. Um, if you keep it on auto, which I always do, it will detect the width of the fabric and what it needs to do. And I've left it, I've always left it on auto and it's, it hasn't misstitched uh, yet. There is another dial uh, back here, I believe, and that um, will adjust the tension on your presser foot. Um, you can also create stitches and save them. It has a little bit of memory to save the stitches. And then you, if you, just want to do a straight stitch, You there are several buttons here that will let you just decide what stitches that you, um, that, the, you know, the simple stitches, the most common stitches, and it will let you uh, just pick them. And here's how fast it goes on a straight stitch. Let me give you an idea of the stitch quality here. There's no pull through, no nothing. It just, it, it stitches really, really nice. Um, it has the um, dial over here to lift and lower your presser foot. And one of the interesting things I found about this machine that I've never seen on any others, the, the Jukies are a Japanese machine, so they are a little bit different of a design than I have seen. But the, it takes a regular, uh, what is it, uh, S-class bobbin, I can't remember, um, just a regular standard bobbin. But it um, has this, like the, well let me thread this bobbin really quick. I can't do two things at one time, as much as I'd like. But it, it has a huge bobbin cover. Um, and I, a lot of the machines I have, I, I mean, I can pretty much interchange the bobbins and the bobbin covers. And this one, it is a different design, and I, I like that about it. I never have any problems with my bobbins at all. Um, very good, stable machine. Uh, rarely breaks needles. Um, it rarely has any issues at all it it's it's just a really good working machine um i think it came with a five-year warranty on the computer i am not for sure on that um it does have um the bobbin that runs off of the uh oh no 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 i'm sorry it's an independent bobbin winder winder i haven't used the machine in a while so it's hard for me to remember um I thought it was off of the machine, but once I pushed it, I realized how quiet it was. So that is really nice. Um, I don't know what else to tell you about this machine. I'm trying to think. This is what it looks like with the uh, top closed. And I will close in really quick on the stitches. I'm going to pop this camera off of the tripod and bring it over and try to give you a good view of all the stitches that it does have. So we'll just go nice and slow across here so that you can see that. And there's your alphabets. I will um, actually stop and stitch a few letters out and come back and show you that when I get it ready. Okay, I went ahead and I stitched um, the letters out to spare you having to go through it. And here is, um, this is just the most plain font that there is, and there's what it looks like. It's, it's not too bad. And um, when I was setting the machine up to do that, I realized I didn't have the right presser foot on. And this machine gives you a picture of your presser foot right here. And it'll tell you what letter 
like this one is I and they all have a you'll never probably be able to see this but right here it has the letter I so you always want to make sure you're using the right foot and as it sews through the letters that you have chosen to stitch out it'll have a it'll it'll take like as soon as it's done with J it'll take that off the screen and the little um, cursor will go under the U and it'll it'll go through and tell you um, where it's at and these dials here also change your stitch stitch length like if we go back to a straight stitch we do want to delete that so right now it's on three and a half for width and you can change that all the way up to seven and then you can change your uh, stitch length all the way to five and you can go back and then if you decide oh I didn't like that you can just press the, your straight stitch button again it'll take you right back to its standard settings so I think that's everything I wanted to show you oh one other thing it also has a knee lifter that it came with its standard and that hooks on right here and just kind of fish it in there it's too far to my, close to my table I think but um, that does work real nice I can't get it all the way in there uh, offhand there's stuff under my table but uh, it's it's pretty standard um, it'll lift and lower your presser foot for you but I think that is everything then and uh, this is the hard case that comes with the Juki it is a really nice case um, I wanted to give you a little peek at it it goes over the top and the machine it, it, it fits on there very stable and then you lift the handle up to use it and inside of it I don't know if I'll be able to show you this there's foam that's lining it to uh, keep it very stable on the machine I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to my channel I post new videos all the time and if you do that you won't miss out so thanks a lot for watching and have a great day